Hi, I'm Martha Collison and it is so good to be back on the Waitrose channel. I'm in my new kitchen and I'm really excited to be showing you a recipe for chocolate tiffin, which is perfect for Easter. Tiffin is one of my go-to bakes because it's a crowd pleaser, it's easy to make and it's so good for using up any leftover dried fruit or chocolate if such thing exists. So let's get going. We're going to start with some butter. I'm a firm believer that butter is the basis of every good bake. So there's plenty of butter going into this one. So I'm just going to cut this into small pieces so that it melts really nicely once we combine it with the other ingredients. So as you can see, the kitchen is definitely looking different. We've moved house recently, still in Brighton, still love wandering down to the seaside, going to grab a coffee. It's where my heart is, so it's so nice to still be local. But yeah, fun cooking in a new kitchen. And then the next ingredient we need is some golden syrup. So the syrup and the butter are going to act as a glue for our tiffin. You could use honey if you'd rather, but golden syrup's got a really nice sweetness that works well with the bitter cocoa powder and all of the dried fruits going in. Perfect. So now we're just going to pop this onto the heat until the butter has melted and the mixture is nice and smooth. This should only take a couple of minutes, so make sure you keep an eye on it. The beauty of Tiffin is it's really versatile. Easter is approaching, so I'm making an Easter themed version, but I've made Tiffin at Christmas with some mixed spice and some more festive fruits. Done it for Mother's Day. You can do it with all sorts of different chocolates and different fruits to suit any occasion. So this is all lovely and melted. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and then we're just gonna finish this part off with a little bit of salt. Salt works really brilliantly in sweet recipes, brings out the flavours of the chocolate and the flavours of the fruit. So I'm just going to add a little pinch in there. So I'm going to leave the butter mixture to cool slightly whilst I get on with the rest of my base. So I've got some digestive biscuits in a bowl. You can actually use any kind of biscuit in this recipe, so it's brilliant for using up leftovers, anything you've got an open packet of in the cupboard. But I'm using digestive, they're nice and plain and simple, but you can add all sorts of other things to it. I'm going to take a rolling pin to crush these up. You could also use a food processor if you'd like to, but I quite like the kind of rubbly texture you can get from this method. So you want to keep crushing until you're happy with the texture. You don't want it to be super fine like a cheesecake base. You want a few little lumps in there to get lovely texture in your tiffin. So on to the dried fruit. I'm using a mixture of raisins and glacé cherries in my tiffin because I love the combination of sweetness and the slight bitterness you get from a raisin. I always find myself with loads of dried fruit left over from Christmas, so recipes like this are perfect to use up any of those half open packets you've got in the cupboard. Now you can use any dried fruit you like in this recipe. These are my two favourites, but you could use dried apricot, dried apple, basically anything that takes your fancy. Now the final ingredient is our cocoa powder. This is where we're going to get that delicious chocolatey hit. You can find the link to the full recipe in the video description. So each ingredient is really nicely coated, so we're ready to add in our melted butter. This is cool just enough. Make sure you get every last little drop. And now we're gonna mix this all together. I love this recipe because it's so easy to customize. It'd be great to see what you might use. Pop it in the comments. All of the ingredients are really nicely coated, and this is important so it all sticks together once you get it into the tin. So we're ready to press it into our prepared tin. I've just greased and lined this 20 centimetre tin. You could easily do it in a round one as well, but square means you'll get lovely crisp edges. And I'm sure you can find someone to help you out <laughs> licking the bowl. I'm gonna use a spatula just to press it all down really tightly. Easter's always been a pretty big deal in our family growing up. I'm a Christian, so it's a really big celebratory day full of good food, time to share with family and friends, so making something like Tiffin is perfect just to keep everyone happy. So the top is nice and smooth, so we're going to pop this into the fridge to set for about 20 minutes. So my Tiffin is a time to chill, so now we're going to move on to the chocolate topping. So I've got two kinds of chocolate. I think a mixture of dark and milk works perfectly in this recipe because all milk might be a bit too sweet, all dark a bit too intense. So you want to mix the two. If you do find yourself with leftover chocolate or leftover Easter chocolate in particular, you could try making my chocolate broken egg cake. You'll find the recipe linked in the description. And now I'm going to pop all of this chocolate into a bain-marie to melt. This is a really gentle way to melt chocolate. You could use the microwave if you want, but make sure you keep a close eye on it. If you like the sound of this recipe, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications for more recipes. This recipe works really well with all sorts of different chocolate. If you wanted to use white chocolate, for example, that would work really nicely. So chocolate is lovely and melted and smooth, so I'm going to turn the heat off, and then this is going to get poured over our set base. So the bowl might be hot, 
So make sure you use a tea towel or some oven gloves. Get it all on there as quickly as you can because it will start to set as it hits that cold base. And then I'm gonna tip my tray so you get a lovely even coating all the way across. If you're feeling extra fancy, you could melt some white chocolate and do a little bit of swirling over the top. But I've got a lovely even coating of chocolate. So now the final thing to do is to decorate the top. Now, because it's Easter and I'm doing an Easter tiffin, I'm gonna decorate it with all of my favorite Easter chocolates. So I've got some little mini eggs. I'm gonna scatter these over the top. And then I've got some chocolate eggs of different sizes. You could use broken up Easter eggs as well for this. And then finally, I've chopped up some of these colorful eggs. I'm just gonna scatter those all over the top. This looks absolutely delicious and will make you very popular with your friends and neighbors. And then when you're happy with the decoration, this is gonna go into the fridge to set until that chocolate has completely hardened. My tiffin is out of the fridge. As you can see, it's looking beautiful and it's lovely and set. So now we're gonna slice it up. Now my top tip for getting the neatest slices you can with tiffin is to use a hot knife. So I've got a sharp knife just dipped in some boiling water here. So just dry it off and then I'm gonna slice this into 16 squares. And let's have a look at what we're working with. So here is a piece of our tiffin. As you can see, we've got those delicious chocolate eggs on the top, all those lovely chunks of biscuit, pieces of dried fruit and cherries. It's packed full of flavor. This is for sure gonna be a crowd pleaser this Easter, so why not give it a go? Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon with another delicious recipe, but for now, I need to go and enjoy this with a cup of tea.